Hi, I'm Jake. As ComfyUI 3D Pack continues to expand and improve, the path of image to mesh is becoming clearer. The image to mesh includes the following steps multi view generation, mesh reconstruction, mesh optimization, and texture refinement. The 3D Pack includes seven multi view generation models CRM, 0123 Plus, MV Dream, Character Gen, Unique 3D, Wonder 3D, and Era 3D. There are nine in total, including Stability AI's 0123 and SV3D. 3D Pack includes seven mesh reconstruction solutions CRM, Character Gen, Instant Mesh, Instant NGP, Craftsman Unique 3D, and Flexi Cubes. In addition, TripOSR combines multi view generation and mesh reconstruction into one. For now, there is only one mesh optimization solution fast clean mesh provided by Unique 3D. However, I believe that new solutions will be added in the future, such as Remesh of Character Gen. There are two solutions for texture refinement, including explicit target color projection provided by Unique 3D and fitting mesh with multi-view images. For mesh optimization and texture refinement solutions, please refer to my other video, Image to Mesh, Comfy UI Plus Texture Projector. In that case, I used a professional mesh reconstruction tool to optimize the mesh and the texture projector plugin in UE to refine the texture. I believe these two steps will soon be perfectly implemented in Comfy UI following the development path of the image to mesh. The current solution consumes many resources, especially VRAM, and is much less efficient than traditional professional 3D or game software. In addition to image to mesh, there is also an image to Gaussian splatting to mesh solution. 3D pack includes triplane, Gaussian splatting S3D, and large multi-view Gaussian model, which can generate ply files. Then convert the mesh from ply in four ways. In this video, I focus on image to mesh multi-view generation and mesh reconstruction. First, Let's look at this row of multi-view sequences. I have listed all the results generated by the solutions except Character Gen. Character Gen is excluded because it only works with full body characters, not human heads. From left to right are CRM, 0123 Plus, MV Dream, Unique 3D, Wonder 3D, Era 3D, 0123, and SV3D. In this test, I feel that the results generated by CRM are the most accurate. The second row shows the second set of multi-views, the coordinate maps of CRM, and the normal maps of the other three solutions. Further down are different mesh reconstructions using the same multi-view solutions. The first group is the meshes reconstructed by CRM multi-view, using CRM's algorithms Instant Mesh, Craftsman, Instant NGP, etc. I think the CRM algorithm works best. A more detailed description of how to use CRM in Image to Mesh, Comfy UI plus Texture Projector. Instant Mesh only reads for axial views of the CRM. The top and bottom views are useless, the sampling is insufficient, and the result is not good. The newly included Craftsman is even less ideal and without texture. Instance NGP also failed to generate because of too few samples. The other two, Unique 3D and Flexi Cubes, could not be generated locally because of my VRAM limitation. This mesh is generated using Instant Mesh and the multi-views of 0123 Plus, which is great. I think this solution can be used as an alternative to CRM. The multi-views generated by 0123 Plus are not along the coordinate axis and have pitch angles, so the results of Craftsman are poor. 0123 Plus has six multi-view images, but the results of Instant NGP are still not good. The three meshes generated by MV Dream Multi-View are not ideal. You may need to use LGM to generate ply first, then convert the mesh as in the 3D pack example. The three meshes generated using Unique 3D Multi-View are not ideal either. I generated the mesh on the official demo page to see the results. The mesh was partially damaged and the reconstruction of the left ear failed. 
Unique 3D's understanding of the back of the head is not ideal, as seen from its multiviews. I look forward to trying out the mesh reconstruction of Unique 3D using CRM's multiviews. Comparable to CRM, the proportions and structure of the head are good. I imported the GLB mesh generated by the Unique 3D official website into UE for observation. The number of faces is extremely high. The mesh's material has no texture but uses vertex color. Unique 3D from 3D Pack can export both mesh and texture. Wonder 3D has six multiviews, so the mesh generated by Instant Mesh is good. The results generated by Craftsman and Instant NGP are not good. Era 3D also has six images, and the mesh generated by Instant Mesh is also okay. Unfortunately, the orientation of the model is wrong. The other two meshes are not good. The multiviews generated by 0123 are very inaccurate, so the meshes are not ideal. SV3D currently has 20 multiviews, and the results are great with instant mesh. If the number of image samples is increased, I believe the results of instant NGP will be better. Unfortunately, if the elevation value is non-zero, which means the camera has a pitch angle, the result of SV3D will not be good. To sum up, I think I would still give priority to the CRM or Unique 3D solution and look forward to more efficient mesh optimization and texture refinement tools in Comfy UI. As a general mesh reconstruction solution, instant mesh is preferred. As long as the sampling is sufficient, the result is great. In 3D Pack, 0123 Plus, Wonder 3D, and Era 3D have six multiviews and SV3D has even more. It is a pity I cannot test the mesh reconstruction using non-unique 3D multi-views with unique 3D this time. Thanks for watching.